Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 22nd, 2023. Well, holy moly, the bears got active yesterday, and after gapping down, just continued to drive lower into the close. I honestly would be expecting a, a little bit of a gap down open this morning and then possibly a rally back, but that's not what's happening. We're getting a little uh, pop already this morning, trying to get a little bit of relief in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. How about we take a look at these charts, try to look at them without bias and let's see if we can figure out how um, we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, as you can see, pretty bearish move here in the market. We've created these lower highs here in the market, rejecting resistance levels. We're well below our 50-day moving average in here, so we've created significant technical damage in the charts. Now, one of the things you want to be paying attention to is this diamond's 200-day moving average is not all that far away. And oftentimes when we fail at the 50, we do seek out that 200 day. So keep in mind that we may not be quite done with this, although we could get a nice little relief rally in between. Let's take a look here. Technically, if we were to see those um, bulls respond in here and push back up. Notice we've got a nice little support level in here. And I had marked um, an area down here suggesting that, well, if we're going to fail this price support right in here, then uh, the next level down would be in this area right here. And I still think that is true. If this um, current area right here fails, then there's a pretty good chance we test this area down in here for the next level of price support in the chart. If the bulls, however, find inspiration today, well, of course, we've got a lot of recovery here to do. We um, would first maybe look for a little resistance right in here, right around the, the top of that big, ugly black candle in the move. And then, of course, breaking through there, we start looking at the gap down and um, obviously we've got tremendous price resistance up above to be considering in the chart if the bulls can really start pushing through um, to the upside here. Um, let's take a look at our SPY SPY. Very similar situation. We gave up this area of support here. I haven't turned it red yet because we probably need a rally back there to test it before I do turn that line red but as you can see we are extending that downtrend as a matter of fact um, we have steepened this downtrend pretty dramatically here in the chart so any rally back I believe into this area I would be watching pretty closely for that potential of the next um, short to the downside so watch that carefully unless data suddenly changes here for us if we take a look right in here, there is a little bit of price support right in here that we're trying to catch and maybe get a little bit of bounce on it. So if the bulls can continue to push through, then watch for those levels up in here to see whether or not we can break on through that bigger resistance area in the chart. And if the bears were to find continued inspiration today, well, maybe down in here, you can see that's not a very strong area of support, um, but that would be the next area. And of course we could move to the underneath side of that. Unfortunately, if that were to fail, if we, if we fall through that level, you could see the real possibility we could come down into this area of the chart. And looking at our uh, moving averages in here, you could see that would be pulling us back toward that 200 day moving average here in the chart if that were the case. Again, a failure of the 50 can oftentimes lead to that move to the 200 day. 
but I suspect we're going to get a rally back. Um, it won't go down in a straight line as a typical case. So just kind of keep those things in mind right now, fingers crossed for the bulls that they can hold right in that level right there. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Obviously QQQ quite bearish. Um, we have that potential that we could still reach these um, August lows. That would be our next move lower if the bears were to find inspiration. And if the bulls can come pushing back, and you can see a pretty good gap up here going on in the queues, queues being the strongest of the bunch, pushing back up here into this level of price resistance might be the next area to test. And you you do want to keep in mind that again here we are we are extending these uh, trends to the downside, kind of steepening those. So watch this area right in here as that price resistance if the bulls can continue to push higher today. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM obviously very, very bearish here, well below our 200 day moving average now, um, really kind of leading the way to the downside. Now, um, having said that, we, we have taken um, some pretty big technical damage here and broke right through this level of price support yesterday like it wasn't even there and we're pushing for this next level now keep in mind if that were to fail in here if the bears push through this level we're probably looking at substantially lower uh, down in this area of the chart and that would really kind of complete this big head and shoulders pattern so i think the the possibility of that does exist you take a, a, a draw from here to the neckline that would suggest from the neckline break down that would be very similar in length and um, that is pretty close to where that could be if um, we can find some bullish reaction here today um, and we are seeing that here in the pre-market trying to pump back up well we're going to want to be watching this area here in the chart we've really steepened that downtrend here any rally back into this area would run into fairly significant price resistance in the chart so watch that closely how about we take a look at that VIX our VIX finally responded pretty substantially um, yesterday to the upside pretty big shot of fear coming into the market but remember that's not the whole story um, first off you'll want to notice that we're pushing into this level of price resistance in the chart obviously we've broken that trend um, uh, to the downside but watch this carefully as we push into this bigger level of price resistance in the chart if this were to rest and pull back and hold into a higher low that's where the real fear could come into the market if we hold that higher low and continue to see that selling can't say that that's going to occur but we will want to watch that pretty closely here um, it's been quite a while since we broke above this area of 20 handles in um, the VIX and if we were to push back up in there it would certainly uh, bring some fear into the market but I suspect the next move here over the next uh, several trading days is some kind of rest consolidation pullback try to uh, lick our wounds a little bit and see whether or not we can move on through to the upside let's take a look at our T2122 our T2122 indicator, as you can see, pushed right down here into the bullish reversal zone. So although I was expecting some kind of reversal today, I thought maybe we might carry through that bearish momentum here early this morning, pushing on down. Not the case, um, at least at the moment, we're looking for a bounce right away here in the market. And then, of course, we've got some data coming that, that could change that but not a lot today to worry about. So in this situation, we're in this oversold condition, then we look for that opportunity that the bulls can push us back to the upside here. We're certainly oversold in the short term. So watch that carefully, fingers crossed. If you're a bull, get a little relief rally started here today. And then if we take a look at our uh, T2107, obviously very very bearish here we did end up breaking uh, that support level substantially as a matter of fact we came right down into these levels um, all at once 
So remember, this head and shoulders pattern has yet to complete. So uh, we'll want to keep an eye on that. We may have completed this one. As you can see, there's a shoulder, a head, a shoulder. Um, that move from that neckline, we kind of moved it and it got that done all in one fell swoop to the downside. So keep a close eye on that. If we um, do find that reason for bullishness here today, then a, a push back up to retest these areas of the chart as resistance would be the next move. Um, up if the bears continue to push to the downside well let's look for some of these levels down here to be tested um, right now 38 39 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average obviously pretty oversold here and that might give us that little help of a little relief uh, let's take a look at our uh, t2108 T2108 also breaking that major support level here in the chart, pushing on down 22.5% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. Pretty ugly out there. But the good news is we did it all at once. We pushed right down here into that next little support area. So if the bears don't push on down here to test these levels before we bounce, then we have that opportunity we could bounce off of this area and start coming back up and see if we can push through some resistance levels here in the chart um, around that 30% level. Now, some of the reasons why we could struggle here uh, today, continue to struggle here today, is just simply because of the uncertainties out there. Um, um, last night, um, Japan left their interest rates um, flat. They did not change anything in interest rates. That created a little bit of bullishness over in the Asian markets. But at the same time, Russia um, is restricting um, oil supplies again. And so we've got oil pushing back up. The, um, the Japanese decision is pushing the dollar higher. Our bond yields are still high. And then we have that serious situation where we could see a government shutdown at the end of the month. Um, House is running quickly out of time to get their work done so that a potential um, extension can be passed to um, keep the government open beyond the 30th of the month. And then, of course, we have that uncertainty ahead of all of the next round of earnings out there. Um, so we'll want to be keeping a close eye on this. There's a lot of potential pressure here in the market and uncertainty. So you could kind of see how we might not get a whole lot of energy uh, flowing here um, even on a Friday with a relief rally. Um, not saying that that's going to be the case, but you do, will want to consider all of those all of those things that are keeping the market um, off balance here. Um, our T2101 did hook higher yesterday. We saw that breadth of the market increase on that sell wave um, yesterday pushing up. That's not what you want to see. It'll be interesting on the relief rally bounce if we continue to see this extend higher and see that breadth coming in for the bounce. If we don't get that breadth coming in on this and we start to see that breadth fade, uh, fade back, then uh, I think that raises more concerns of the possibility when we find those resistance levels in the chart, we could then pull back. And let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar has got a little bit going on here, but it's pretty light day. As you can see, um, uh, we're now out of the blackout period for the Fed members, so they're going to start up again. They're going to be out here yakking it up. Um, and uh, that'll probably just increase next week with a lot of Fed uh, members out there trying to explain their positions and where they are. Um, but um, we're going to have a PMI composite number here today. And unfortunately, that PMI composite in the consensus is suggesting that we remain below 50%. Remember, anything below 50 um, in the the composite means that we are in decline, um, contraction. So keep an eye on that, 47.8. They're also looking for services. This has been one of the strong areas of the market, looking for services 
to come in at 50.2, which is really stall speed for uh, those services. So watch those carefully today. That's really about all the economic reports that we have to get things going here. Um, overall, we've got a Baker Hughes um, rig count to uh, be paying attention to. And of course, that might be significant based on what we have going in these oil prices because they are surging up this morning. And if you take a look at our um, US dollar, also pushing higher here, we popped yesterday and pulled back, but now we're gapping higher with Japan, leaving their rates unchanged making the dollar even stronger. So watch that carefully as that continues to strengthen. Um, let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar here for today. And our earnings calendar, unfortunately, guys, there isn't anything. Uh, there's only one confirmed report today. Um, it is not notable at all. As a matter of fact, it is a, a very, very tiny um, uh, volume stock. Um, so NTWK will be reporting, um, running in little teeny tiny volumes here, um, not notable at all. So nothing on the um, earnings calendar here today to be concerned with. So with that, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that quick favor, if you could click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that. I apologize yesterday, I got so busy I didn't get a chance to answer it. Um, remember, um, everyone, this is the last day of the open house that we have going on. So if you're um, uh, free today, we'd love to have you come over. Just go to the Hit and Run Candlesticks website. You just click on the Right Way Options link and come on in. There is no password. Come on into the room. We'd love to have you for our last day and see if we can uh, find some uh, uh, find some trades in here. Um, it's been a pretty light week with the wild volatility um, here in the market, but hopefully things will start um, improving here and um, we'll start seeing a little bit more activity um, with some assurance here in the market. Let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security make sure you do your own due diligence make sure that you're paying very very close attention to this volatility that can whip us whipsaw you pretty quickly and remember to follow your trading rules and your trading guidelines you should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea well let's take a look here um, as bearish as the market is there are um, bullish stocks out there to be looking at, but not as many as you probably like. Um, as I um, was mentioning yesterday, um, KHC, some of the defensive sector stocks, when the market really starts getting worried, then you'll often see this rotation into the more old boring uh, trades out here in the market. And boy, we sure have it here in KHC. Following through to the upside, inverted head and shoulders pattern, trying to break this neckline in here. So now I think any rest or pullback that holds that somewhere along that trend, I would look for that next opportunity to the upside on KHC. Um, looking very, very good. And again, it's, it's that um, dividend payment and a little bit more security that um, might be allowing some of these to turn and come back to the upside. Watch that carefully. You might also look at AT&T. AT&T's made that nice move and I have a bias on this because I am in this trade. And uh, moving to the upside here, this was an alert in the chart. Moving on up, again, uh, when, we, when we find a trend that stretches out like this, we can certainly extend a trend for a short period of time. But just kind of keep in mind that possibility that we could rest, consolidate now for a bit, coming on back into this area of the trend and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. AT&T is not known for moving super, super fast. So um, keep an eye on that, but a very nice dividend payer. So 
Watch that closely, looking good overall here in AT&T. Other places that you might want to take a look, as you guys know, um, CCJ, this was my last alert on CCJ, and that thing just went like a rocket. But notice here, all we've done in this major nastiness of the market is just pull this back to the trend. We're pulling it back to price support as well. So watch that carefully. If this can hold in here, might look for that next opportunity to the upside and some of the others um, in that uranium area actually had a little bit of buying going on yesterday um, after pretty substantial uh, pullback here you can see our upside trend that possibility that this could push on through right here remember we have a pretty substantial resistance so if we're going to be bullish here in this chart we need that to come right back up and hold and look for that next upside in UUU. U. And then URA also had a pretty good day yesterday, um, trying to push back um, up just a little bit. By the end of the day, that selling kind of caught it as well, pulling it back down. But you can see we've got a little bullish uh, pre-market action starting to show in there. So keep an eye on URA moving up here. Uranium, uh, very, very strong despite the, sprint, the strength of the dollar. Take a look at some of the commodity ETFs out there, or commodity um, stocks um, holding up pretty well. Uh, CF Industries, you can look in here, it was like nothing happened yesterday on CF. So watch that closely here. We've got a fairly significant resistance in that chart, but you'll notice in here that this big old head and shoulders pattern has played out to the upside nicely as you'd expect. We're running in this upside trend. So maybe a little bit more rest to kind of match this over here, a little bit more rest in here, and then see if we can push on through that level to the upside. Looking pretty good. Uh, mosaic. Mosaic was starting to look really good yesterday and then just completely reversed to the downside. So um, here's one of those um, ag related stocks that just didn't do so well. So what I'd be watching for here is to see if that can kind of climb back up above that downtrend before I'd have any interest. As a matter of fact, if it climbs back up and fails at that downtrend, I'd be looking for the next short in uh, Mosaic, so watch that closely. As you guys know, I've talked about Rivian several times um, here in the market, and boy, it finally gave up this little consolidation in here, broke down, but notice we came back down into a level of support here, and it's really not that bad yet. You do wanna keep in mind that this is a lower high and a possibility that's just leading us lower here in Rivian, but watch that closely. If we can hold this level and perk back up, get above that downtrend, then look for that upside opportunity there may be um, that chance that that could work in here. Take a look at the Walmart. Walmart was holding up really, really well. Yesterday drew it into some selling, but overall, this is an incredibly bullish chart. Um, uh, all time highs were recently broke too here in the chart. So this rest consolidation or pullback in here may be very uh, telling uh, of our next opportunity to move that on through to the upside. So keep a close eye on that one. Um, I was looking at um, Cisco, or excuse me, Costco um, yesterday and thinking about um, a bear call credit spread in here because of this triple top. And then um, uh, one of the members caught me on this because I did, I failed to look up here and you can see um, we have um, earnings coming next week on Tuesday. So keep an eye on Costco with that earnings report coming up on Tuesday. I think anything is possible in here. You could also, if you squint just a little bit, you might see that possibility that this could be de developing an inverted head and shoulders pattern. So that earnings will be really important and it might be a, a really important look to see how strong the consumers are. If uh, Costco were to falter here and break lower, that might give us an early warning um, on the strength of where those uh, consumers are. So watch that one closely. No trade in there, but something to pay attention to. And then of course, guys, um, with the strength that we're seeing in oil today, we cannot rule out the possibility of some more upside move 
in some of these stocks. Uh, take a look at ExxonMobil. Had a rough day yesterday pulling back, but we really haven't broken this upside trend. Keep an eye on some of those oil stocks in here, um, particularly in the area of um, refining. We did break down below that support level yesterday and we broke that trend, but you can see with the oil pushing up the way it is this morning, we could recover that quickly and then look for more upside here in uh, that oil sector. Um, lots of strength showing up in that area and just keep in mind that as that continues, that really points to a, um, a marker that can really raise our inflation. So. Uh, be kind of careful here. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day and also wish you a fantastic weekend. Um, be careful. Be safe, everyone. Wish you great profits in your trading today. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have an awesome day.